and let's talk about osteosarcoma. So the big difference in location purely between osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma is that osteosarcoma is at the metaphysis of the bone. Ewing sarcoma is at the diaphysis. Well, how can you remember which part of the bone is which? The metaphysis is where the diaphysis and the epiphysis meet. So I remember the word meet, M-E-E-T, is very similar to M-E-T for metaphysis, I could even talk. So metaphysis is where they meet. So it's kind of like that little area right in between the end of the bone and the shaft of the bone. That's your metaphysis. That's where your osteosarcoma is going to hit. So now that we got that down, what else will you see with osteosarcoma? Number one, the biggest clue that they're going to give you is somebody with a Codman's triangle or a sunburst appearance on their imaging. So that's basically when the periosteum lifts off of the bone. That's really, really high yield. You need to be able to identify that. So go Google image search a Codman's triangle right now to make sure that you got that down. The next thing is kind of like a bimodal age distribution of who gets osteosarcoma. You're either pretty old or you're pretty young. If you're pretty young, it's usually due to a mutation in your RB gene, your retinoblastoma. And so if you're really old, it can be associated with Paget's disease of the bone. So really young, really old, boom, you're thinking osteosarcoma. But it's tricky because remember, Ewing sarcoma can also affect younger patients. It's usually males less than the age of 15. So you can look for other clues such as where it's at on the bone. So if it's metaphysis, it's going to be osteosarcoma. If it's diaphysis, it's going to be Ewing sarcoma. Next thing is to look at the origin of the cells if they tell you that. If they say pleomorphic osteoblasts, you're going to go with osteosarcoma. If they say neuroectoderm derived, you're going to go with the Ewing sarcoma. So these are really important clues to help you really fine tune where you're actually at, whether it's an osteosarcoma or whether it's a Ewing sarcoma. Don't get them confused. Remember the RB gene. Remember the 1122 translocation is for the Ewing sarcoma, and you'll have these straight.